Hey guys, today we're going to be modding the Behringer NX6000D to replace the fans with quieter ones from Noctua. Okay, so first we need to re remove all these six screws here. There's a Phillips normal, so I'm going to be using this because I'm too lazy to do it manually. Okay, all six screws have been removed. So now we can just open this and this is what we got. A lot of stuff in there and some cleaning needed so I'm going to take it outside to clean it first. On the back here we have just the four screws for each fan which are to protect the grill so this is just easy to remove so let's remove those. Okay so we have removed the top case, the grills and the fans are pretty much unlocked, uh, loose now so we can remove them but first there's a couple of things we need to remove here and is this there's a like a fan like it's a zip tie holding the fans here together and on my other one there was a second one but it looks like this oh yes i see another one there so i'm gonna have to cut these two things and then we can use a blow a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen um, that glue that we have here so we can actually remove the connectors so let's work on that next Okay, so I'm going to use this heat gun. Just a little bit of heat in here. I mean, you can use a hair dryer. This is just overkill for this, but I have it, so why not? And then you can try to just pull them out. It's going to be pretty loose already. I mean, technically, you could just grab the whole connector out. Just pull it up. Make sure to go pull up straight. You don't want to pull up. And there you go. Both of them came out. I mean, since we're not using the fans and we're not connecting anything to this, I didn't see a point on removing it from the connector, so I just pulled the whole thing. Perfect. Now we get the fans out. I still need to fetch that other zip tie, but we're almost there. It's a bit of a tighter look of the same connector, so you see the zip tie and the connector we're going to be removing because fans won't connect to that white connector that is attached to the board so we need to remove the whole thing okay so the zip ties are cut finally i was able to get that one so now we can just get this out of here careful with those parts that are on the way and this is the part hopefully the camera can see it there this is my original fan, and let me take a look and it matches the other one. Yep, same part as the other one that I took apart. And here comes this out of there. So now, no fans. Okay, so we just need to put the not to us, which I have the PWMs or the FLX, they're all about the same for this NFA NF-A8. 88 for 80 millimeters, which is the side that fits in here. And this one has four pins because it's the PWM, but there's also the three pin, which is the FLX, which either one works. Um, really, you're gonna use in those two pins anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, there's two ways to do this. Well, more than two ways, but this, I showed you the two ways that I can do it. With the three pin, you can usually just connect the two that go in there. Just so make sure that you know which is red and which one is black. Because this one is a four pin is a bit more complicated. The three pin should fit easier. Uh, but one option that we had is this tiny part, and I'm gonna put it in the description, which it converts to from two pin to four pin, right? So and this one fits very nicely in here. It goes very tight, it's not gonna come out. It's very nicely tight, and then you just plug this one in. Uh, voila, you have the configuration now make sure that you look at the cables because the black one goes on that way and the red one on this way one thing i recommend take photos of how everything looks before you start cutting things apart and taking things apart just don't want to make some sort of reference so you can go back to so the black was closer to the front and the red closer to the back that's the orientation of the cable so i'm going to plug both in and then we're going to start installing them okay so first i have two now connected Again, I use the adapter to make it. It's very clean when you use this adapter. So first, I'm just going to install them 
like the stock ones are, which is pushing from the back to the front, like an intake. So let's just put it like this. Now these ones are a bit thicker because of the rubber pads for anti-vibration, but they fit. Here be careful because this one gets very close to this and those capacitors or what. Uh, just like that. So now let's screw this and then we can do a quick test. To make it easier, instead of screwing, which is going to use the rubber <sighs> screws from Natsua. I love these things. They're really handy and very easy when you have space. Okay. So I'm going to get two and two for now. They are very tight in there. That's one thing they fit like a glove in there because the thickness is just about perfect. Okay, very tight. Perfect. So I'm going to put the cover. And we're going to test how it is performing with the Noctua fans. Okay, this is a test showing the Noctua fans uh, installed like the stock fans blowing from the back in to the front, so like an intake. And as you can see, this one's barely doing 1.7 miles per hour versus up to 3.3 that the stock fans is doing. So yes, it is a lot quieter, but it's also a much less uh, airflow. And from what I've been gathering, there's a, a lot of complaints about owners of the 6000 having uh, overheating issues when in this orientation. And especially if you're pushing it or depending on your environment, right? But this is the reason. It's only running at about five volts when it's connected internally. So now we're gonna do a different test. Instead of using the internal connectors, which only give the five volts, does the slow speed that you just uh, saw, we're gonna use an external controller, which is 12 volts, which will max out the speed, just like the stock fans were running at 12 volts. And let's see how that behaves. So we're just gonna disconnect this one from here. And I'm not gonna change your orientation, just gonna leave it as a uh, intake, so from back to front. And you are just gonna connect these two things here. And we're gonna power this up. I'm gonna give it full power. And and I forgot that I have to reroute this, so cut and we'll fix this. So changing the fans. Uh, power them out externally. I had to like route the cable through this, barely kind of pinched it here. It works fine. And I consider making like a hole somewhere, drilling a hole somewhere that is in some space. But then I'm concerned about resale value later on. So I may just leave it like this. I know my final orientation is a bit better because it's reversed. But in any case, this is again, as intake back to front. And we're gonna test how it performs now compared to the stock one. This is a recording now of the not to a fan at full speed because it's at 12 volts uh, from back to front, so intake using the external controller and as you can see it's hitting 3.3 just like the stock fans. In doing the internal Noctua fans in the regular orientation from back to front like it is on the stock fans uh, you may want to try reversing them. I've seen a test and I should be putting some of the information here from the thread where somebody did a, quite a bit of testing in different spots, uh, taking temperatures and different configurations. Um, with the Noctua fans like this, he will get into overheating. But when he reversed them, it will work much better and he never got into overheating during his test. So that is an option. Uh, I personally don't like how slow they're running, so I'm going to use external, but since uh, since he figured out that it doesn't overheat and the temperature never hit the same, uh, at some point it was like over 100, uh, I don't remember if Fahrenheit or Celsius, but yeah, it was much higher than all the other uh, configurations I was testing. So I'm going to reverse the airflow from front to back, which apparently is how most amps are supposed to be anyway. And then I'm going to use the controller to limit the voltage so it's not, so I can control the, the intensity of it while still being more than the internal one. So I don't want it to be so slow. 
but I can control it and give it some more. So instead of like 1.7 miles per hour that it was hitting, I can get a bit higher, like 2.2 or something like that. And it will still be quieter than the stock fan. So that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, so it will be the same like this. I'll just reverse the fans and then we can test it again, even though the test is going to be different now because now the the airflow is going to be to the back. So, but it can still pull and you can see the difference. It's just doesn't pull as strong, right? But but since it works with the stock fans for some people, apparently when you reverse it, then with these ones, it's going to work even better because they're more control, uh, more powerful and the way I'm controlling it's going to be better. Now, obviously, some people might say, well, you could just use some sort of controller to the stock fans and save the money. And you could probably too, but there's a whininess to the motors on the stock fans. That I, I think you'll be able to hear it on the, on the recording where the Noctua fans are a lot quieter. So that's one of the things you're paying for and definitely is something I'm gonna, I'm gonna be enjoying better now with my movies. So let's get this done. And just to show you how it looks from the back now with the FLX model, because the wire is thinner, it's easier just to ride it through here and it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like it's pinching the cable much at all. So it shouldn't cause any issues in the future, I hope. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be looking like this. The two connectors in the back and I'm plugging to the external power and now they're gonna be as exhaust, so pulling from the front to the back. Okay, just to show you the orientation of the fan now is from front to back, so exhaust. This is not to a, a 12 volts, so a full speed and it's registering 2.9 miles per hour like pulling air in. Now this is a, a maximum power, I'm not going to run it like that, but just to show you. Okay, so the modification has been completed. The screws are all tied nicely and back all. And just to show you the back again, hopefully it will show nicely. You can see there how it looks. So time to test it. We have the two amps finally back where they belong. They are all set and ready to roll. I've been testing different demos and very strong material with my tactile devices. And they have been flawless. I've been testing at different power levels and um, right now I'm down to like half the power and there's still not a single issue with overheating. I don't expect it because even some people get away with the not to fans inside the amp uh, when they use an, an exhaust, so from front to back. So even if that level is enough to not overheat for so many people, then with mine getting a bit more than that, it should be more than enough. But I'll let you know if anything changes and I need to increase the power or I can lower it more. I will let you know again on a small update for this. And the only thing I'm going to be doing is, because I'm using the controller that I showed earlier, that one there. So the only thing I'm going to be doing is testing one more thing. Uh, Noctua has a PWM controller. And some people have suggested that using the PWM controller is actually better than this controller that I'm using. That you may actually get different uh, acoustic uh, behavior so I'm gonna try that and if it's worth updating I will do a new update so thank you for watching and subscribe like and all that stuff but actually before we end this video I wanted to mention that I decided that the original orientation from back to front as intake fans works better for my situation I felt that the noise uh, type was uh, actually more pleasant uh, even though I don't hear a lot but I felt like when it was as an exhaust that's pulling air from the front, 
uh, it bothered me a little bit more. So I, I, in the end, I decided that the stock orientation works better for me, but I'm still using the not to us, as you can see on the picture. So it's just the original orientation, same fans and the same controller. Uh, you, of course, you can try different orientations and see which one works best for you. Once again, thank you for watching.